So when you guys are condensing, it's very important to follow the rules uh, or the order of operations. Um, but not only with the order of operations, in this case, we don't have any parentheses, so it's fairly basic. Um, but all we want to be concerned about with this one is at least going from right to left. So if I'm, um, the first thing we want to do, though, is, so if you guys remember, the last thing we did is we took our exponent and we put it in front. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is take any, any of our powers and rewrite them as exponents. So therefore, I have log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of y squared minus log base 2 of 4. Does everybody see what I did? Now I'm doing the reverse of expanding. I'm condensing. So I'm taking any number that's in front and rewriting it as the power. Does everybody see that? Now, the next thing in condensing is I need to rewrite them as one single logarithm. So we go from left to right. If you guys see, whenever I have two logarithms that are added, whenever I have two logarithms that are added and I want to rewrite them as one single logarithm, are you annoyed? What? Are you annoyed? I was just working for like two seconds. Oh, I know. But I just want you to be fully engaged okay. just looking here. So when we have two logarithms that are separated by addition, we can rewrite them as one single logarithm. Does everybody see that? When we have two logarithms separated by addition, you can rewrite them as one single logarithm with your terms separated by multiplication. Then, what do we do when we have two terms separated by subtraction? Division. You can rewrite them as one term with division. Yes? So if the first term would be log base 3, you couldn't do that? Correct. It always has to be the same basis. So therefore, my final answer would be log base 2 of x, y squared over 4. <laughs> That's it. Done. Fine. Jonathan, are you not writing this stuff down, or do you have this?